now. And I think diversity is um, too flowery, um, it's too soft, and I think it doesn't actually get the message across. And I think when institutions start to use terms like diversity, are we in danger perhaps, I don't know, of um, losing the critical edge of issues around social justice and equality. Um, so actually when I, when I now deliver a lecture to the students um, uh, in my institution, I will actually um, not actually talk about diversity. I'll say I'm going to talk to you about uh, white privilege and whiteness theory. Um, but you know, they're, they're fantastic. They're, they're, what they're showing me is that there is a real thirst. Students want, when they engage with this topic, it's difficult at first because they really are digging deep into who they are as a person and how their own identity plays out in their day-to-day -day interactions with young people. And it's that not seeing nature. I guess. Um, and so when you start to have those conversations with them, you know, I'll say to them, engage in the lecture, engage in the workshops. Um, I've got a reading online for you to look at and have a read. When you come back next week, we'll have some very safe conversations. Um, and they're wonderful. They take it up and they're eager to learn. Um, and it's just, I think we need more of it. Um, but there's, I suppose there's so much to learn. But I, I, I fundamentally believe that if we, if we want a curriculum um, which is all about equality, um, and it's interesting because I attended a, a, a lecture by a Finnish scholar who said that, you know, I was wondering why, we, why Scotland called it curriculum for excellence and not curriculum for equity, because it's through equity that we achieve excellence. And that stayed with me. It was, some, it was a really inspiring lecture. Um, and that's the approach that I'm trying to take, that actually the more we discuss these critical issues, the more equitable our schools and classrooms and staff rooms will become. How are we preparing our, our next generation of teachers to become or be more race cognizant? Um, are they able to have those critical conversations around race? Do they recognize that um, their, their practice perhaps need to be culturally tailored, more responsive to the diverse needs of the pupils that they're working with, the families they'll be working with, the communities that their schools will be in? Um, um, and secondly, and at the moment I think, although we do make some effort to have perhaps the odd input, so you have one maybe input on race equality, or you might have an optional subject to choose, I, I believe fundamentally that this uh, race equality um, or social justice should be firmly embedded within the programmes and be a core part of a programme, not an option. Um, the other, um, I think, sp I suppose is, is leadership. A lot of the BME teachers are, are, are coming back with uh, thoughts around the barriers to promotion and it's perhaps looking at our head teachers and working closely with um, those who train head teachers or maybe perhaps are into headship qualifications, um, maybe some training for, for leaders in education, not just head teachers, um, around how do you a, acknowledge um, and nurture the diverse cultural, linguistic, religious identities of, of the staff that are in their schools. Um, and because I, I always believe that you have BME teachers who come with, I always feel as if added value. Um,